Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I've got a really fun, easy project for you. This is a garden flag. Now, as far as the flowers go, you can do your flowers any way you like. You can arrange them in any order that you like. You can make round flowers or cut flowers out of fabric and put it on. The border at the bottom, you can make it any size that you like. Okay, let's get started. All of the supplies and cutting instructions are listed below your YouTube screen in the description section. Just scroll down, click on the words show more, and it will expand open and you will see all of that information. So I'm going to start with stitching the two pieces for the very front of the flag. So I'm going to take the border fabric and I'm going to bring it front sides down on one end of the uh, main piece of fabric. And then pin it together and stitch a quarter inch seam all the way across. Then go to your ironing board and press this seam flat, then unfold it and press on top. And while you're pressing, you wanna make sure this seam is going towards your border fabric. Now you want to put your fusible interfacing on and you can use a lightweight, medium weight, heavy weight, whatever you have on hand, or you can use the fusible fleece. So put the glue side down against the back side of your fabric for the front. And you will notice that it doesn't quite fit the fabric here. It was purposely cut smaller so that your seams wouldn't be bulky. So now you're going to go to your ironing board, put a damp cloth over this, and with a hot iron with steam, you want to go ahead and fuse it on and be sure to always read your package instructions for the fusible interfacing. For all of the squares that you cut for the flowers, you will have two squares for each flower. So this is one of the flowers. I'm going to take one of the pieces, one of the squares, fold it in half, and then with scissors, cut a hole in it. Now bring both pieces of fabric together with the pretty sides together, also called right sides. So lay them down, line them up, and place pins around all the four edges. Then stitch a one quarter inch wide seam on all four edges. Then you're going to cut all four corners off to where you have about a 1 8 inch wide seam right along here. Then cut a little bit off here and here. And again, you do it on all four corners. Then go to the piece that has the hole in it. And if your hole's too small to cut it front side, to turn it right side out, you're going to go ahead and increase the hole a little bigger. Then reach inside and turn it front side out. If you have problems getting your corners to come out, then take something kind of pointed and go in there and gently press against it. Don't push too hard because you'll go right through your fabric. Then press all your squares flat. On all your fabric pieces for the stem, just at one end, this is the short end, fold it over a quarter of an inch and press. Then take the sides, fold them in towards the center and press. Before you place all your flowers down on the fabric, fold the top edge over about three inches and put something on there to kind of hold it down for you. And the purpose of this is so you know how much space you have to center your flower. I would center the main flower in the middle first, get it centered, kind of measure out here to see if it's uh, equally across right here. Then place your stems down. And I have the stems placed just a little bit above that border. And then place your other stems underneath. As you're placing all of your pieces down, I recommend that you pin each piece in place. And here's how exactly how you want to lay the stems out. So I'm going to pull this piece back. So the ends, the raw edge end, the one that's not fold over, goes underneath 
the big stem. And you can place them next to each other or place one up higher. It all depends on how you want to do it. Then, of course, put a pin there to hold. Then the raw edge of the stem up at the top goes underneath this corner. Then when you go to stitch, this is the stitching order. You want to lift this one back and stitch the two shorter stems down first. Then lay this one back on top and then stitch this stem down. Place the flower over the top and then stitch it down. And then that little small square goes in the center and then you stitch that down. I used a straight stitch and I stitched very close to the edge on all of the pieces. Now if you want, you can do a decorative edging stitch, applique stitches. So look on your sewing machine to see if you have any of those. If not, the straight stitch still works really good. So now take your fabric for the back and have your flag pretty side up and then take that fabric for the back and place it down. Then you're going to place pins all the way around all of the edges. Up at the top edge of the flag, you need to leave an area open so you can turn it front side out. So I have one pin over here and two pins over here. You'll start here and stitch a quarter inch wide seam all the way around. And when you come back up here, you stop and do a back stitch. And make sure when you get started over here, you also do a back stitch. After stitching, then go to all four corners and trim them down to about 1 8 inch wide. Now go to your opening and reach inside and begin turning it front side out. After turning it front side out, again, make sure you go in and poke your corners out. Now be careful if you're using canvas fabric. If you push too hard, it could come apart at those corners, so be careful. At your opening, you want to fold the edges in, then press everything flat all over. Then take this top edge, fold it over about two and a half inches, and pin this edge down and then stitch close to the bottom edge all the way across. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. Now the top sleeve where you just, the last step you've completed, goes over this part of your flagpole. If you don't have a flagpole and you wish to purchase one, you can go to Amazon.com. If you're interested in other garden flags that I have done, scroll down below your YouTube screen in that description section and you will see a link to a tutorial that says Garden Flag. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something new. I hope you try making one of these. They're really a lot of fun. You don't have to do your flowers like this. You can do them any way you want. You can lay them out any way you want. You can even change the size of your border down there. It's really, it's your project. You can do it any way you like. Now, I have other links below that I talked about, and you'll probably see some other sewing project links down there also. Now, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and make sure you check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.